Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the news for this week for AQ. Let's get into it. All right, if you ever received an Artix points code from a giveaway from anyone and your account gets disabled, uh, contact support, they'll fix it. It's happened recently to a lot of players from a single instance, which is, you know, worrying, but uh, it should get sorted out. And uh, if that ever happens to you in the future, you know what to do. Contact support, it should sort it out for you. All right, with that PSA out of the way, let's get started with the news. So the March event calendar came out and I actually haven't read it. I, this is my first time seeing it right now. I just loaded up the page because I saw it on Twitter, but uh, yeah, let's go through it. So 25% uh, AC bonus, not the normal 50% you're used to. It's 25% only for some reason. I don't know why it's still only 25%, but hey, if you have to buy adventure coins uh, for some of the items coming up. I mean, you don't have to, but you know, if you want to buy adventure coins, it's better, better than nothing. So there's that. Uh, the Legion War Seeker seasonal stuff returning, Pancake Day returning, nothing new for either of those. March 4th is Deja's birthday, so that's the first part will be tomorrow. It's good. And Lucky Day event. Now, uh, Lucky Day is kind of getting snuffed out there by Deja's birthday, but uh, hey, wouldn't be the first time. Uh, pretty sure it happened last year as well. <laughs> Last year was like a Friday the 13th uh, lucky day. It was, yeah. Anyway, March 11th, Master of the Underworld, part two, Underworld Legacy Collection. So there's going to be a collection chest, a 10K chest. They call them collection chest, but it's 10,000 AC chest. Uh, so that'll be out next week. The week after that is uh, another part to that, along with an update. I'm glad they're putting this in the design notes so we know it's going to be a two week update. Will it be a three week update? I don't know. We'll probably figure out in the three weeks. Probably depends on how much they sell. In the first two weeks whether or not they add a third week that's happened before but uh, i hope it's just for the two weeks there so i don't have to guess whether or not there's a third uh darkens event is on the 25th the end of the month so yeah it looks like a fairly decent one not too happy with lucky day getting uh you know kicked out there by day's birthday but ah uh, what can you do they probably didn't have anything uh cooked up for lucky day anyway so not a big deal i guess all right, very quick with this one, the class council had some adjustments to some classes this week. Legendary uh, hero and dark legendary hero got changed. Mecha Joster got changed. Ninja Assassin got changed and a few potions as well. You can pause the video and read this or you can click the link in the description to the tweets. Uh, they're all linked in the description, everything I talk about. So yeah, check them out. I'm not gonna go over it, but I'm just letting you know that it happened. Also, there are some other class changes in the past like Arch Paladin got changed, Blaze Binder got a buff, not too too long ago and a bunch of other things got changed as well so maybe check out the class council's twitter go through their uh, post history some of the class you use might have got changed and if you don't keep up with it you might not be aware of it a first look at the flash version of nation underworld vampire arbor Ooh, another vampire oh gee oh i love vampires oh boy do i love vampires oh i love vampires all right um well it's another legion vampire uh, well, a nation first. Uh, why? No. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, it, it looks fine enough. You know, it's not crazy, but uh, it's a vampire. You know. Female version is here. Uh, interesting that uh, usually with the new versions of Arbors, you see uh, a buff. This one's got a nerf. Not against it. I think it looks fine. But uh, yeah, cool. Cool. Uh, the makeup's a different change. The face is different than the normal one. I actually think the face is an improvement over the original uh, Legion Vampire. But uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway. I would really like to see a darkened house in this art style that like is made to be a house and isn't just a map converted into a house. Like Darken made a house map. The art looks so good. I want it as a house. Anyway. Um, Darken Saga Part 7 is coming on the 25th. We already know that. Uh, but uh, here's a little preview image of it with some elevators with this art style. Yeah, really nice. Also tweeted out from Dark Aid was uh, a hair, some hair shading. Pretty cool. All right, hero points are getting an update. So there's going to be Legion items added. Uh, I think, does AQ3D have hero points as well? I, I think they do. Anyway, uh, the one on the left is the AQ Worlds one. We get a better look at it here on Hakari's actual Twitter. Uh, this is uh, unposted from April. And uh, this is what will be in the hero point shop in the update. So you check that out if you got hero points. There's actually a new item that was added to Hero Mart that 
these items would have been tied to, but they're not because it's hero points. So you get to choose what items you want from the hero point shop. Uh, yeah, so there's a Dage print available for four hero points from the shop. Uh, the physical to order it, and then you get the points when it arrives at your house. So, yeah not an ad or anything i don't have a code or anything like that i wish i did but uh anyway yeah it's just yeah check it out if you're interested a legion variant of a sword mary has posted in the past you can check out the original on her twitter i don't think i've shown it in a news video before but uh here's a legion variant of it to go with the other legion stuff and talk about in the video today so yeah looking really nice there chesler k with a sword for the uh, set we saw last week so that set's coming along very well Nahi with the Lucky Day outfit. Now, Lucky Day really isn't happening in AQ, so I don't see a reason why they couldn't add it later in the month. Uh, you know, I don't think anyone would be uh, upset about that, but uh, I think they're already locked in for the month. Usually they plan stuff like months in advance, like two months in advance usually, but uh, they could probably fit it in somewhere. I, I don't know, but uh, yeah, really good looking outfit. Would like to see that in the game. Esmir with a summer outfit that was commissioned from uh, Glacial. Glacy. Uh, yeah, so really cool looking outfit there. Uh, would work great in summer, even though it's kind of like uh, snowflake themed. But uh, yeah, cool stuff. Summer will be here before we know it. Based storm or spring, basically. Arlette with the Unholy Monk Commission. I think this uh, looks really nice. Uh, no male version here, but uh, I'm sure if it gets approved, a male version could be made of it. Yeah, really nice. This is probably a reference to something that I haven't seen, but uh, Rasputin. Uh, yeah, Kataro art here, a commission. Really nice. Daniel and Lei work together on this outfit. So, yeah, I got a little bit of a collaboration going here. And uh, oh, it's close to a finished product at the bottom here. Yeah, a uh, pretty decent looking Legion outfit. Really like this one from Steve, like the galaxy pattern with the uh, tattoos and everything. Really nice hairstyles are great. Yeah, just really good outfit. Sefi making an addition to the other outfit, which is a lot of uh, color custom and all the uh, brown that you see there. That's uh, all CC. I imagine it'll be the same with this one. So yeah, good stuff. Well, I guess I am showing the original version of the sword in this video because while I was recording it, I always I keep checking on Twitter while I'm recording while I pause to do other things. But, uh, well, uh, the sword is getting added to the game for Mary. So the Legion variant and the red and uh, kind of the beige one here, this is also being added. So, yeah, really nice. Good work on the swords. Glad they're getting added to the game. Nice. This heavy metal dragon outfit from Thyronius is got a full color custom variants to it yeah so it looks like you can change basically all the colors on it really uh really nice looking there so yeah love the uh, dragon wrapped around the sword uh the blade looks really good fro teasing what looks like a monster or a cape or both something like that and uh, geiger counter referring to radiation of course so yeah uh, kind of a skull there maybe legion themed outfit here from mc S. Now, I definitely recognize different pieces of this, like the shoulder, uh, the armor itself, but uh, I think it's definitely modified quite a bit, and I think it's a complete redo. I don't think he actually took any of it. I think he drew it all himself. So, yeah, really nice uh, looking uh, outfit there. Good, uh, good take, even if you are taking for other pieces and putting them together like that. It's still, yeah, it looks uh, good all together, and uh, yeah, nice. Antism with a Arch Fiend energy drink. Uh, so yeah, it kind of reminds me of the Kotaro items that were made a year or two or three ago, a while back. Kind of reminds me of those, the Hype Fiend stuff. Uh, I don't know why, but yeah, it's a similar kind of style to it. And uh, more drinks and snacks coming your way. Drops this week include some Wings, Zero AC Underworld Cape, available right now. Go get it. Also a spear to match. And if you're interested in what's coming up for drops, they released the whole list until the 27th of March. All the drops, you can see if they're rare or permanent, everything, pause if you want to pause or check the link in the description for the link to the tweet. Uh, probably a better thing to do it there. But uh, yeah, really cool that they put out a list there. I'm looking forward to a few things on the list, like the uh, Ebol Hitman outfit, I think is a pretty cool one. Lucky Ranger gear has to be interested. I am not sure what that's referring to, but it's got a cool name to it. And uh, yeah, some a few rare drops every week as well. So make sure you check those out. 
big thanks to everyone that supports the channel in any way. Yeah, thanks to all the members and thanks to everyone that supports this channel. And uh, yeah, that's all for the news today. Leave a like if y'all liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I'll see you guys all tomorrow with the live stream of the event, the first week of the brand new stage the birthday event there's an ultra boss uh you can actually see the anime you can see some of the animations on the design notes i didn't show them in this video because i don't know it just takes too much time to show animations but anyway yeah they're on the side notes check them out if you haven't seen them and i'll see you guys in the next one peace